hi guys and welcome to this tutorial so today i'm going to be showing you how you can set up your power pages in visual studio code and completely work offline this is to avoid the case whereby your internet service provider may decide to let you down you know at times that really looks very very frustrating so back here in my power pages you'll see that um, I have two sites so most of the time you usually be working online because you want to use maybe the drag and chop features in power pages to you but what if you do not have internet or your internet decides to fail you that means you are completely stuck and you can't do anything so here's a solution for you the simple thing to do is for us to go to visual studio code and the first thing in your visual studio code is to go to your extensions and within your extension you're going to look for the power platform extension that I have here and then you click install for me the power platform extension is already available because I have already installed it so once you have installed your power platform you can check the version back in your terminal right down here if I say back and I validate, it it's going to give you the various options that is the various things that you're able to do if you want to work with the admin this is what you need to do back admin and so on but also we are interested here really in the portal so you are going to see PA Portal. Actually, the name is because you know it was first of all Power Portals before moving to Power Pages. But <laughs> as Microsoft is actually very good at renaming things, I think maybe not long from now this will be surely PA Pages. The first thing for us to do is to authenticate into our environment. And for you to do that, you need to get the URL of the environment. So to get that, we'll go back to our power platform admin center then you select your environment in my case i select my environment on the environment you are going to see the environment url so i'm going to copy this environment url go back to virtual studio code now we need to authenticate into our environment so to do that we go to back Authenticate create minus u for the URL. But with your URL, you need to put the HTTP s to dot slash slash the name of your URL to make it complete. If not, um, it's not going to recognize just the domain name alone. So here yeah, we've added it. Now it's going to open our browser where you are going to sign in. Once it opens, you sign in. I am already logged in, so. Once you sign in successfully, you come back to your Visual Studio Code and you're going to see that you are connected directly to that particular environment. Once that is done, the next thing we need to do is to go into the repository where you want to have your power pages. In this case, I have my repository right here. So I'll just navigate into the pages. Okay, let's clear to make it neat. So now all we need to do is to download our website. But for you to download your website, you will need to have the website ID. And how do you get that? You can get that from your command line. So we can take back and don't forget we are dealing with our power pages. So we get PA portal list. Now this is going to authenticate and then give us the list of our website so we can see that we have two websites if we should check so yeah i have my site and then i have uh, the other one so let me just preview this one let's say we want to modify this one okay you got your site here yeah? so let's go back and say let's copy the website id because we need it now to download your website we go with back the portal download then you specify the path you can put path you just put minus p and then you have also to specify the id minus id i paste my id then let's copy the path get my path here so i come back to minus p and i provide my path 
So you have your code, download the path, and then the ID, which is the ID of the website you want to download. So that's okay, I validate. Now this is going to give me a copy of my website locally and here we'll be able to work with it with or without internet connection. Okay, great. Now our download is complete. We can see update successful. So if we go to power pages, here we're going to see my sites. Let me close this and let's say, uh, let's say we want to do some updates or some modification. Let's say I want to change a page. Uh, let's go to the home page, the content. Let's look for the home page, for example. So if I go back to my website, let's say we want to remove this and put something else. So I'll just say short message here. Welcome. Now, the amazing part of this is that you can actually preview while doing your modifications right here in Visual Studio Code. So if I want to preview what I'm doing, all I need to do is to go to preview you will see this little eye icon here and if i click on it it's going to preview the current web page where we are working and you can see immediately as you do a modification you are able to view the changes i said welcome mandela we already have welcome mandela here so if i just say welcome at mandela and you see <laughs> it's amazing you are already working irrespective of internet connection so let me save this and let's say okay you are done doing your modifications and you are good to go or you're going to deploy back to your website online because online if we refresh you're going to see that there are no changes the site is still the same so let's go back and then now what we have to do is to upload so it's just a download and upload process so for us to do that we will just put back our portal upload and then we provide a path to our website so yeah i'll just copy the path upload the path and we paste our path and let's validate so let's see if um, the changes are replicated online we go back to our power pages Let's go to the home and let's refresh. There you go. Our changes are being reflected. So that's it for today's tutorial. Stay tuned for more amazing tips 